Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the TFS, which is the uh, Team Foundation Server software, onto your computer. So once again, I'm using Apple. Um, it'll look a little bit different if you're using Windows. Um, this bar will be down here in Eclipse versus up here in Windows. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a URL. So I've already have a URL that is out on your, um, if you're taking my class, um, it's in Course Documents TFS Download URL. If you're just watching this via YouTube, um, I'll post you, uh, the, the uh, uh, URL in here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on help. You're gonna come down to install new software and then you're gonna click add. You're gonna just add anything up here. It doesn't matter what it's called. I'll just say TFS install. And then I'm going to paste the URL right here. So this is the location where the software is at. So I'm gonna hit okay. It's pending. I'm gonna choose team, found, team explorer everywhere. Click next, oops, um, everything's here. I'm gonna hit next again. I'm gonna accept this, I'm gonna click finish. Now this will take a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds at best. What'll happen is after it downloads, it, it'll restart Eclipse. And then, our, then we know our software is installed at that point. All right, so you'll need to restart Eclipse. Perfect, I guess. It's coming back up on the other window, so I'll drag it over here once it's up and running. All right, there we go. So now it's here. So now how do we validate? You go to help. You go to, actually, we'll go to window, show view. You'll go down to other. Now you see all these different things here. This one you can't use, but this one here you can. You click on it, and look at that. You have Team Explorer. You're gonna do is hit okay. All right, so now, now that we have it here, now we need to do is connect it to our TFS, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this little guy that looks like an outlet, click on it. Now you have two options here. You have browse Visual Studio Team Services or connect to TFS service account. So what are the differences? This one right here is gonna one that we're gonna be using because if you're taking my class, we're using uh, Visual Studios Online, which is a cloud-based system. If you are working at your company and your company has TFS, but they have it installed on a server, a physical server, then it would be connected through here. You'd actually put your server data uh, information here. But right here, we're gonna choose this guy right here. Hit next. Then you're gonna get prompt to enter your Outlook account in or if you have an account through your company. But in this case, um, mine's gonna be Jeffrey J. Seaman at Outlook.com. And then I'm gonna put my pat, oh, it's gonna automatically do, I hate when it does that. It used to allow you to put your password, it automatically goes and it does that stuff. All right, so I'm enter my password in. Perfect. Now it's thinking about it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to connect to my, as you see all these different URLs coming up, what it's doing is it's connecting to my environment and looking for all the URLs that are there. So it needs to ca capture it and, and download all that information. So I'm going to pause for a moment while this happens so you don't have to sit here and watch this. All right, so I'm back. So now I download all the information. So this is basically all my accounts I have access to. These are all the different Google classes. Now some of them look duplicated, whatever the case is. Um, I'm just going to choose one of them. I'm going to try to find my own account, which, geez, I may have in here. Um, geez, wow. Um, geez. So many of them here. Oh, yeah, which one is mine? Uh, we'll choose that one, and then we'll hit finish. All right, so now I have I have TFS connected, okay? Um, so what I need to do is I need to set up something, a project, and then upload um, uh, reports and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you're not going to see this. We're going to click on new. You're going to see this now. I'm going to do a Java project, okay? Um, once I did a project, I'm just going to name it anything. We're just going to say test this, test, testing. All right. All right. Um, 
you know what, let's call it test connection. Perfect. We make it 1.8. You have these different versions. So in this case, you need 1.8. I'll just hit finish. Okay. What we're going to do is test checking in a file to our TFS account. Okay. Um, but first, we need a project. So I know if I want to go down here and verify, where am I connected to? Oh, it's going to bring all this up. Okay, Jeff Seaman. So this is, when I click on this, this tells me where I'm connected to. So I'm going to bring that up through. Um, let me bring it over here. So if I drag this guy over here, let me pull the window real quick. So I'm going to pull this over here. So I have a project called test, which we'll just use that. I'm not worried about that. Um, it's from last year. So we'll do that. So we know that we're going to use test. All right. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to source, do new. I'm going to create a package. You could call it anything. In this case, I'll say uh, week one. Okay. Hit finish. Then what I'm going to do is right click on this and then we'll excuse me, the first thing I need to do is I need to put a file here. So I'm going to do new and I'm going to do file. Okay. You could call it anything. I'm just going to call it, um, uh, ccac.txt. Okay. Then I'll hit finish. All right. Now I'm going to add something here, uh, testing this stuff out. All right. I'm going to save it. Now what I need to do is the first thing I need to do is I need to take this and push this up to test. Okay. I need to push this um, up in our test environment right now. My test project, if I go out to test project, um, I could go look into my code. Well, actually my, uh, you see here, we have these different projects here. So we need something that says test. All right. So, um, I'm a, well, test connection. So I'm going to right click on this for the first time. We're going to come down to the team and do share project. All right. So what you want to do in this case, in this class, we're going to do TFS. Hit next. Now what you want to do is you want to pick your project. So when you test it, pushing your code in somewhere, you want to make sure it's here. In this case, we're not doing code. We're just doing a file. So we're going to do test. We're going to click next. You have to choose that same server path again, which is test. And then we're going to hit finish. Perfect. So now what we did is we checked in, well, right now we've linked up TFS and Eclipse and we're like, Hey, we have our project. We're ready to check it in. So now we're going to get a different menu. So if we right click on test connection, we're always going to go down the team. As you see here, we have, and there's some things that you won't see here. There's some things that we have here for the first time because now we haven't linked up. The first thing we're going to do is since we're checking something in, it means think of this as uh, checking something in. Um, uh, if you, well, this doesn't really happen anymore, but in the past, like 90s, early 2000s, you go rent a movie at a, um, I never thought this would change, but you go to rent a movie at a video store and you would check your movie back in after you've already um, checked it out. So it's kind of similar, I guess. All right, so you click check in. And those who are young in this class probably don't, never did that before. So the first thing is anytime you move something new that the system doesn't, the cloud doesn't recognize, it's going to have all these checks in here. Now, if you don't want it to go, you uncheck it. So it's it's very important to put a, a, a comment in here. We'll say, checking in my code for the first time. Jeff. All right. And I'll click check in, right? Um, let's check it in. Perfect. All right. So now we need to do is verify that the code was checked in. So a couple different things that we do. First thing is we right click on our project that we created. We're going to go back down to team. We're going to choose view history. Now I'll show that it'll have an iteration change set is a number. So it keeps all your changes. We'll say that you check code in 15 times. Guess what? Every time that you want to go back, you go back to a previous state. Okay. So it has your name, the username, the date, and the comment. Okay. So we know that that is um, working properly fine. All right. So now we know that that's done. So now what we need to do is our second check. So we go out to our TFS account. I'll go back to home. All right, so I'll go to home. I will go to change sets here. Let me try to really change set. All right, so here is my code. Today's date, the 7th or 22nd, checking in my code for the first time. I click that comment and look at this. 
I have code that I checked in. Now it shows right down here, I checked in this file right here. And it has tested this stuff out. So it has that information on there. Now I'll show you a couple different things that you can do. But first thing, we'll get out of here for a second. All right, so there's check in and check out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take that file. As you notice here, there's like a little gold symbol there. That means that the file's checked in. Now you wanna check it out, you can just double click on it. And I'm gonna add a new line. I'm gonna say, oops, adding a new line of code. Awesome. I'm going to then save it. Okay, exit. As soon as I exit it, notice it's been checked out. So what I'm gonna do is, in order to check it back in, I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna to go to team, wherever it's at, and I'm gonna do check in pending changes. The only thing that's changed here is this file right here. I'll put adding second line. All right, so now we're gonna check this bad boy in. We checked it in. We could go back to history. You, we do our two options here. Um, right click and go to team and view history. And it, Changed it to iteration number 39. Now, I'm gonna go back out to the website. Go to code, refresh a little bit. There you go, second line of code. Add it, which is that text file. Now you notice here where it's green. That means a new line was added. And this is the first line, it shows you what's changed. Now we're gonna do something different here. One more thing we're gonna do. I just exit out of here. Let's go back to that file. We're going to get rid of the first line of code. We're just going to exit out of it and we're going to save it. Okay. We're going to check it back in. Um, remove the first line of code. Well, it wasn't really code, first line of text. And we're going to do check in. All right, once again, we can right click. View history, wherever my history is at. Where you at, buddy? View history. Should be number 40. Boom, there it is. Now, here's the interesting. I want you to see what it looks like. And we go back out to test. We go to our chain set. We go remove first line of text. And look at this. It has a red line here. It shows that this stuff is out. So it's like, what's different? Now, we'll, it has a side-by-side -side going here. So if you look at the side-by-side, -side, once I move this over, this is what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. So this is just a, a demonstration. We'll get really into a lot of this stuff um, later on once we get into this. Um, you could add information, but we'll talk about that down the line. But right now, it's important that you're able to link up TFS, you're able to check in a file, check it out, because this class will consist of this moving forward. So hopefully this video was a, a good uh, basic introduction. If you have any questions, please shoot me a message. Have a good day. Thanks for listening.